Hello, welcome to another Canva tutorial. My name is Darren, I'm a Canva certified creative. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at three ways that you can up your presentation game. So we're gonna be looking at three tips to deliver great presentations. Those tips are, we're gonna look at how to add presenter notes and how you can edit those presenter notes and also be able to see those presenter notes whilst you're gonna be doing your presentation in Canva. And we're also going to look at magic shortcuts, how you can interact a little bit better with your audience and they're really funky those are. And we're also going to look at Canva Live and reactions as well. So let's dive into Canva and have a look at a presentation. Here's a presentation that I've just selected from the templates available. There's a lot of presentation templates available that you can go in and modify this is just one I've not modified it but we're going to have a look at this one and use this one just to have a look at these options that we're looking at today okay so the first thing we're going to look at is presenter notes now when you load up your presentations on the top of each individual page you'll see this little icon up here and if you tap on that icon up here you can see I've added some presenter notes and we're going to have a look in a moment where else you can see these and also update these when you're in your presentation. The next place you can see these is if you go to present and you go to presenter view, this allows you to have two screens. Ideally, that's what you'd need in order to be able to use this function. You need two screens. So one screen that you see and one screen that your audience sees or that you're showing to your audience. So if we click on presenter view and click on present, you'll see you get two screens pop up. You get this screen here. This is the one that will be the screen that you're presenting so that your audience will see. And you can click to choose enter full screen. I'm just gonna put that over to my other monitor for a second so you don't see that because that's what you would be presenting to. The next one is this is your presenter window. So this is the presenter window and I'm just gonna click on got it and uh, here. So this is where you can see the up and coming slides. So you can see at a glance what's coming up next. So as you're talking about this one, you, you're already seeing in the bottom of your mind, you're looking at what today's agenda is. And you can also put in your notes here. So you can see those notes that I put on the screen before when we were looking at that. You can also add in your notes here and see those. So you can just come in and type extra notes. Um, epic, epic intro so that's the um, presenter notes the next thing we're going to want to look at is magic shortcuts and these are things that you can use whilst presenting to your audience so you can see if you press the numbers one to nine you'll get a timer you can press b for blur you can press q for to be quiet you can, zero brings up bubbles um, and you're not going to see those because they're going to be on the other screen which is here so if I click on here you can see if I pick on if I press 3 this is the screen that your audience will be seeing so they'll be able to see this window here and you can pause that reset it or if you press the 3 again that'll disappear and the other options were let's have a look at those again so you can press Q for quiet and that brings that up you can press O for some bubbles as you're doing your presentation um, or even confetti you can add them multiple times to each other so they come up like that and then you can just press X and that'll close off your quick key shortcuts but you'll see that's one of the good things about having this presenter view here is that you can have these options here so you can see them and your audience doesn't actually get to see that they'll just see the presentation that is on the screen here so that's magic shortcuts the next thing we're going to want to look at is we're going to want to look at Canva Live. Now what Canva Live does is it allows you to interact a little bit more with your audience. They can send you live reactions, but they can also ask you live questions as you're presenting. And all you do is when you're in this presenter view, if you click on Canva Live, you can click on start a new session. And what your audience do is they just go to canva.live and they'll enter this code in here. Now, you don't have to worry too much about them seeing that because when you do press go live, they will see this on their screen as well. 
so you can hide choose to hide that or show that but they can just go to canva.live enter in this code and I'll bring over a different browser window so what I've got is I've just got a Safari window they will go when they go to canva.live they'll go to they'll see this code here and then if they type in 784051 they will then be able to my name is Bob um, how are you today so this is just allows them to ask live questions but also live reactions I'm gonna have a look at those in a moment so if I type in how are you today you'll see that that comes onto my presenter screen so if I just take this screen off over to my other monitor a second and also this one as well so whilst they're typing in there you can see here oops, you can see in here what they're asking you and you can then speak to them about what it, what their questions might be and the other thing they can do is then as you're doing your presentation they can give you live reactions so this is the screen that they see for adding the questions but they can also give you live reactions so they can give you a heart or a thumbs up and let me show you that you won't see it on your presenter view but what you will do is you'll see it on the other participants will see it on their window so you can see it coming up here if I just give a give a heart or a or a thumbs up you get to see that on there so that's three tips on how you can deliver great presentations just using canva my name's darren as i say i'm a canva certified creative and if you want to find out more about me i've also got a youtube channel where i create tutorials on canva you can find that out by going to youtube.com forward slash darren m thank you very much for joining me today and until next time bye for now